today it's time for the real life flight time test to see if the 34 minutes that DJI claims is actually correct. They say that they have flown in constant speed of 21.6 kilometers per hour and then you're gonna reach the maximum flight time. How long can we fly if we fly in 21.6 kilometers per hour? And of course the flight battery is fully charged. I charged it directly into the drone and it was fully charged just 30 minutes ago. So let's put this to the test. This is gonna be super interesting. Okay, so the home point has been updated. We have 98% battery. So let's get up and fly. It says that we have 32 and a half minutes left of the flight time. It's a little wind, but it's not much at all. And DJI claims that this flight time is when it's wind free. And DJI claims flight time. And to remember, the battery is completely depleted in a different time than the flight time or the return to home time. So now let's see when we, it says that we have 30 minutes left. If I tap that one, it says that that is only until the battery completely depleted, but the return to home will start in 24 minutes. And that will definitely not bring us to 34 minutes of flight time. So now I have just three minutes until the return to home procedure will start. And that will definitely not give me the 34 minutes of flight time. Well, I can force to not follow the return to home, so, but then we'll be forced to land in six minutes. And as you can see, the return to home is also based off how far away the drone is. So when I fly away, the return to home will be so you have enough time to fly home and land safely. I do not want to initiate return to home. Battery low. Forced landing. It'd be interesting to see if we can quick out of that forced landing procedure so we can get even more out of this flight battery. So now start getting really angry with me here. Battery level low, return to home. So I thought it's gonna start force landing in just a few seconds. Now it's really angry with me here. I don't want to. I'm trying to pull up. Don't land in the grass. Okay, really try to get down. I don't want to get down. I'd like to see if we can fly all until it's empty. And it's 18, 17, 16 seconds left. 14, 13. Will it drop out of the sky? What's gonna happen when the battery goes down to zero? We're 1% left, I can't go for it at all. I'm just pushing forward, nothing happens. I actually think this is a really interesting video and to see if the facts that the manufacturer gives us is true, I think that is very fascinating. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, so you're gonna be notified about more interesting videos that I haven't uploaded yet. Back to the video again. I, can't, I still can go up. No, I can't land. Now it's two seconds left. Does it fall down? Zero seconds left. It's still working. It's still working. I can go forward and backward. Oh, it's still working. But I think it's pretty tired. Oh, now it's landing. I can't go up. 
So at least it didn't fall out of the sky. What did we get? We got to about 30, 30 minutes of flight time. So now let's try to see how long time we can hover. So we're gonna redo this test because just five minutes after I stopped filming yesterday, it started pouring down and the moisture in the air was so high. So today we're gonna see if the moisture actually did anything. We're gonna get up in the air as soon as possible when we get a connection to the drone. Unable to take off, it says. Let's see if we can take off. Oh, oh, I can't, oh, there it landed by itself. I don't know how long time it was. It says 31 and a half minutes on the screen recording, but uh, you know how long time we could fly. So let's try one more time, and this time we're just gonna hover. It's pretty interesting how it's leaning backwards like this. So when you see it like this, you can understand why the back facing sensors are actually working because the body's leaning so much backwards. I'm a taxi, I hold it off. Hey, hey. So it's all those people that are interested in what's going on. So now we're up to about yeah, six and a half minutes. And it's 76% left on the battery. If it was boring to film the previous part where I could find those circles, I think this is even more boring. <laughs> but I do it for you, of course. I should need to put up a sign. MK Creator YouTube video filming channel, YouTube channel. I can maybe gain 10 subscribers just by standing here. So it's 49% and it's yeah, roughly 14 minutes we've been flying. So now it says return to home promptly. That's not very happy with me. <laughs> As usual. Yo, it went from 15 seconds from zero seconds to forced landing. Critical low battery, aircraft landing in current location after countdown. You can't cancel that. You have to cancel when it gets here, or you have to pull up manually. I'm gonna try to keep it up in the air as long as possible again. Oh, so it's first when this screen is coming up that it's keeping the height on where it is. It's not going further. Before this one is coming, it's going down to land. But if you have worked against it for so long and then you don't need to do that anymore, then it's keeping the height and you can confirm that it's time to land instead. Come on, little friend, you can do it. You don't need to land yet, do you? Will we make it until 29? 
minutes. I don't know. Did I stop? Oh, it's landing. No. There it's landing. I, I still don't know how long time we could hover. But you probably know that now. You do know that now because I put it on the screen. So the next thing you're going to do that is to click that video. Because that is the video that YouTube recommended to watch next. And the video on that side, well, that is the latest uploaded video I have. Seeing one of those videos over and out from this one. Bye.